The primary mystery that surrounds Point Nemo is centered on what actually thrives in this forbidding and distant oceanic zone and why it seems to attract extraterrestrial objects. In 1997, researchers set up underwater microphones spanning 2,000 miles, or 3,218 kilometers, to study the vast Pacific volcanic activity. To their astonishment, these sensors captured a sound unlike anything they had anticipated, the loudest noise ever detected from the ocean's depths. This phenomenon was dubbed the bloop. Initially, scientists speculated that this deafening sound might be attributed to a massive ship or some other colossal vessel. However, no such vessels were in proximity to Point Nemo on that particular day. Moreover, in such a remote region, ship traffic was nearly non-existent, quickly dispelling this theory. Another hypothesis suggested that the bloop originated from a gigantic whale or a colossal squid. Nonetheless, the sheer power of the sound ruled out any known living creature on Earth as its source. Considering that 95% of our planet's oceans remain unexplored, scientists dared to propose a highly improbable hypothesis that an unknown enormous creature resided in the waters of Point Nemo, dwarfing even the largest known animal, the blue whale. This proposition seemed even more implausible because Point Nemo's extreme conditions, situated above the fault line of two tectonic plates, continually expelled hot water and minerals through hydrothermal vents, rendering it seemingly inhospitable for life, or so they believed, until recently. A team of German scientists from the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology aboard the research vessel RV Sun conducted a study at Point Nemo to ascertain if life could indeed exist there. Surprisingly, they discovered around 20 species of bacteria inhabiting the upper ocean layer at depths of up to 500 meters. Although this represents one of the lowest biodiversity zones on Earth, it was a significant revelation. These bacteria also attracted larger species, such as the hairy yeti crab, which was first discovered in 2005. However, no colossal enigmatic creature emitting the mysterious bloop sound has ever been found. Scientists estimate that such a creature would need to be at least 250 feet, or 76.2 meters, long, more than twice the size of a blue whale. Nevertheless, the global scientific community has persisted in their quest, continuously monitoring and exploring the sounds emanating from the ocean's depths. Meanwhile, individuals from around the world have contributed their own theories regarding the source of the bloop. Some enthusiasts of H.P. Lovecraft believe in the existence of Tholu, while others speculate that the mysterious creature might have extraterrestrial origins. This speculation might have endured indefinitely if not for scientists resolving the enigma. According to Robert Jack, a seismologist at Oregon State University, the bloop can be attributed to the fracture of Antarctic glaciers. Each time an iceberg breaks away, it generates immense sound waves that propagate thousands of miles across the nearby oceans. Consequently, the notion of underwater monsters from another planet must be dismissed. However, extraterrestrial objects do exist, and they have frequently ended up in these nearly lifeless waters. The area surrounding Point Nemo has long been a preferred location for disposing of defunct artificial satellites and spacecraft used in space exploration. This decision makes perfect sense as Point Nemo stands as the most isolated region on Earth, far removed from any human habitation. The closest settlement is a staggering 248 miles, or 400 kilometers, away, located on the International Space Station. Consequently, Point Nemo has become a graveyard for spacecraft, representing an intentional effort to dispose of them safely in a location where they can harmlessly re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Today, let's delve into the intriguing world of Point Nemo, a remote spot in the vast ocean where surprising things happen. At Point Nemo, life is sparse, making it an ideal location for safely disposing of defunct space objects. Since the first spacecraft touched down in 1971, Point Nemo has become the resting place for 250 to 300 space vehicles. 
Among its notable additions is the Mir Space Station, which in 2001, after 15 years of operation, re-entered Earth's atmosphere. As it descended, the colossal station, weighing 143 tons, reduced to just 25 tons, scattering its remnants over an area spanning hundreds of kilometers. This unique cemetery ensures the safe disposal of massive space structures. However, Point Nemo Space Cemetery is unlike your typical resting place. It lacks the neat organization and security guards of traditional cemeteries. Space debris, sometimes stretching across many kilometers, is scattered across the ocean. But this scattered debris is a far better alternative to having space equipment crash into populated areas. Point Nemo is so remote that the closest humans are the astronauts aboard the International Space Station, orbiting at an altitude of 258 miles, 416 kilometers. It's a paradox that the nearest people are thousands of miles away from this remote oceanic location. A significant event linked to Point Nemo awaits us in the near future, approximately five to nine years from now. That's when the International Space Station, one of the most expensive projects in human history, is expected to re-enter Earth's atmosphere and descend into this remote part of the ocean. If all goes according to plan, this 420-ton structure will create an unforgettable spectacle. One might assume that Point Nemo, due to its extreme remoteness, is a pristine part of the ocean. Sadly, that's not the case. In 2018, during a round-the-world yacht race, a crew collected water samples from Point Nemo for testing. Shockingly, these samples revealed 27 pieces of microplastic per cubic meter of water. This discovery highlights the pervasive problem of ocean pollution, even in the most remote corners of our planet. What does this tell us about areas of the ocean frequented by humans? Well, some of the most polluted ocean regions can contain up to a staggering 100,000 microplastic particles per cubic meter, emphasizing the urgency of addressing our environmental footprint. Life in the Pacific Ocean is already under serious threat due to pollution. In 2010, the band Gorillaz released an album titled Plastic Beach, addressing this critical issue. The album created a fictional story suggesting it was recorded in a studio made from marine debris collected from Point Nemo, shedding light on the significance of our impact on the environment. Clearly, we must rethink our approach to environmental pollution before it's too late. Even the most inaccessible parts of our oceans are not immune to contamination. Share your thoughts and ideas on this topic in the comments, and if you'd like us to continue discussing these critical issues, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.